The humble avocado in its purest form. Today I'm gonna to take this and make the best guacamole you have ever had. I'm gonna make it for the big game that's coming up, but I wanted to show you guys how to make a wonderful guacamole. It's easy, quick, and extremely tasty. It will please everybody. Welcome back to our channel, Living the Alleyway. I'm Elizabeth. Michael is under the weather today, unfortunately. He's not feeling well, so I am flying solo, and I'm gonna make you guys some guacamole, so stay tuned. First thing we need to do is open our avocado and we're going to scoop out the flesh into the food processor. So just very carefully take a nice sharp knife, cut into the avocado and just go all the way around carefully. Pull your blade out, open the avocado and that is just beautiful. One important thing you need to do is remove the pit. So what we do is we hit it, we twist and it comes right out. I'm just gonna pop that over here and not make a mess. All right, the next thing we're gonna do is just simply scoop out this, uh, the next thing we're gonna do is simply scoop out the avocado flesh, put it into the food processor, then we'll add all the other ingredients. To do this, you simply take your spoon, run it around the inside of the avocado, and it comes right out. Make sure and check it, because there's gonna be some other good flesh in there that you can also get out. So I'm just gonna do this to the other avocados and uh, get all this in here. So as I do this last one, I'm just gonna say to you guys, when you bring your avocados home and they're not ripe, you might wanna just place them in a sunny windowsill for a day or two and keep checking them. When they get ripe, they'll be a little bit uh, uh, softer to the touch. And you'll want to, at that point, if you're not gonna use your avocados right away, you're gonna to wanna to put them in the refrigerator because that will stop the ripening process for them. So that's just your pro tip today. We have our avocados in the food processor. And I'm going in with the juice of one fresh lime that we just squeezed. I'm also going to go in with three tablespoons of chopped cilantro, three tablespoons of, I have red onion today. I typically use white onion in this recipe, but not a big deal, whatever you have on hand. I have one garlic clove chopped well. I have a half teaspoon of cayenne pepper, a teaspoon of salt, and a half teaspoon of black pepper. I'm just going to put all of that into the food processor at one time. Everything goes in together. All right. And we are going to turn, we're gonna close the lid. And I'm just gonna pulse this a few times until it's nice and smooth. We like ours nice and creamy. You do it however you want it. We'll show you what it looks like. Take a look, oh, look how gorgeous that is. So creamy, that is perfect. I'm gonna take this out of here, put it in a nice bowl, and we will be right back and I'll do a taste test for you guys. Stay tuned. Sadie, do you like guacamole? No, I, th I think you like avocado. I bet you wouldn't like spicy guacamole. We'll pass on that. Our guacamole is ready and it looks so good and it smells so good. I'll give you guys a nice close-up of that. Isn't that gorgeous? So smooth and creamy. And I was going to tell you there's a couple of variations you can use. If a lot of people like to put tomato in there, if you dice up a tomato, that's one variation. I didn't have one on hand, but sometimes we've been known to put a chopped jalapeno in there, a fresh jalapeno. One other idea, some people like their guacamole a little more chunky. So if you want to use one more avocado and just cut it up in nice big chunks, mix it in with that, it would give it a great texture. Yeah. But today I chose to put a little pinch of cayenne in here, about a, a half teaspoon, and I'm going to taste it and I just know it's going to have just that little back of your mouth feel that's going to give you just that little kick of spice. So taste test time, I wish Michael was here because he is a fan of guacamole, but not this time. So I'm going to taste it and see what it's like. Mm. Oh, you guys, it is creamy. I used four uh, fresh avocados. That is so creamy. The, the lime gives it just that little bit of tang and that cayenne just hits the back of your throat. It is the perfect spice punch to this. This is so good. You guys need to make this. It's so easy. It took me, what, five or 10 minutes with prep. That's so quick and easy. You can have this on your table for game day. Also for the big game, we made a plant-based buffalo chicken dip that was out of this world. I'll drop a link in the, uh, the box below. You guys need to check that out too. 
you should make this guacamole. It is incredibly good. It will impress all your friends. So I just wanted to thank you guys for stopping by and hanging out with just me today. I really appreciate it. I miss my sidekick, but he's just not feeling well, but he'll be back on the next video. But I wanted to say, if you guys have not yet joined our YouTube family, please do so because we'd love to have you become part of our family. And make sure and hit that notification bell so you know every time we come out with a video. And be sure and give this one a big thumbs up so I know you liked it today. And let us know if you try it. Drop a comment down below. Let us know what you think about it. We are in love with this stuff. We actually make this all the time. It's one of the staples in our house. And it is naturally plant-based. Naturally. So you're, all, you're good to go as far as your health. We hope you guys are all doing well, staying safe. We love each and every one of you, and we appreciate you. We really appreciate you watching our shows. So we'll see you next time on the next video. Bye.